Hello everyone, welcome back to the Easy and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is multiplication of fractions. Yep, let's start with question one. We have two thirds times three quarter, and we always try to multiply the numerators first, and then multiply the denominators six. So let's start two times three is six and three times four is twelve. Now top and bottom is divisible by six so six goes into six once and twelve goes into six twice. So our solution is a half. Moving on to question two we have one fifth times two thirds. So one time is two is two. Five times is three is fifteen. So our solution is two over fifteen. Moving on to question three. We have four over seven times four over six. Again, we time the numerator first. 4 times 4 is 16, and then we times the denominator 6. So 7 times 6 is 42. And now top and bottom is divisible by 2. 16 goes into 2 8 times. And 4 goes into 2 2 times, and 1 goes into 2 once. So our solution is 8 over 21. Moving on to question 4, we have 3 over 9 times 3 over 7, so we multiply the numerators first, so 3 times 3 is 9, and then we times the denominators, 9 times 7 is 63, and now top and bottom is divisible by 9, so 9 goes into 9 once, and 63 goes into 9 7 times. So our solution is 1 over 7. Moving on to equation 5, we have 5 over 6 times 2 thirds. So again, we multiply the numerators first. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we times the denominators. 6 times 3 is 18. And now top and bottom is divisible by 2. 10 goes into 2 5 times. 18 goes into 2 9 times. So our solution is 5 over 9. Moving on to question 6. We have 1 over 8 times 3 over 5. So again, we multiply the numerators first. 1 times 3 is 3. And then we multiply the denominators. 8 times 5 is 40. So our solution is 3 over 40. Moving on to question 7, we have 6 over 10 times 5 over 6. So we multiply the numerator first, 6 times 5 is 30, and then we multiply the denominators, 10 times 6 is 60. Now, whenever we have 0 in numerator and denominators, we eliminate the 0 first. And then we go 3 and 6, so they're both divisible by 3. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 6 goes into 3 twice. So our solution is a half. Moving on to question 8, we have 1, 6 times 5 over 11. So we multiply the numerator first. 1 times 5 is 5, and we multiply the denominators after. 6 times 11 is 66. So our solution is 5 over 66. Moving on to question 9, our last question. 
three quarter times a half. Again, we multiply the numerators first. Three times one is three. And then we times the denominators. Four times two is eight. So our solution is three over eight. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.